Hey guys, and welcome back to my pose creation series. In this video, I'm going to be showing a few details that are a little bit different about making poses for animals. Uh, for the most part, it is basically the same, but there's you might notice there's a few additions to the pose rigs for um, animals that are a little bit different, namely this panel here on the side. So what I'm going to show you is how to actually uh, use them. So the first thing I'm going to do is, with working with a horse rig, the tail is always sticking straight out, which is ridiculous. So I'm just going to fix that real quick. Um, but these uh, sliders here on the side are specifically for the face, so that you can ch change the facial expression on, on the horse. Because you might notice it's not, not the same at all to the human rigs. There's no real eyelid slider that you... Or eyelid joint that you can drag around. Um, so these sliders are actually to help that. Now the way that you edit them is they, they are actually sliders. You can double click them to uh, ch change the value specifically, but I find it's a lot easier just to drag along them to change them. Each of them are labeled with what they change. So for example the upper lip will drag the lip up and down. So, you know, you could make a silly smile pose with your horse, which of course isn't exactly uh, natural, but you never know. Uh, doesn't that look attractive? So anyways, you can mess around quite a bit with uh, with the various different sliders. I like to close the eyelids a little bit because the way that they're kind of open naturally is kind of strange and there we go. Hey, hey, baby. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's attractive. So the f last thing I want to talk about before I um, show you how to, to basically to save the animal poses is just to talk about the rig a little bit. And I want to mention, you know, animals move quite a lot differently than humans. And because of that, they're actually included a lot more joints that you can move, which is great. But uh, you have to be very mindful about which ones you move. So, for example, when you're moving a horse neck, you know, you want to make sure to use all of the, the joints or make sure you use the right one when moving when moving it around. Otherwise, you're going to create something that does, doesn't look natural quite, quite at all. And, of course, with the legs, you know, there's so many joints. And, you know, the, their legs bend quite a lot bit differently than, than human legs. So just making sure they're, you know, pointing in the correct direction. Make sure you're using the right one. I highly suggest using references unless you're very familiar with the animal in question that you're working with. So now that you're done uh, making your pose... Oh, actually, first, you know, I'm going to talk about these ears because there's a lot of ear joints here in the middle. Um, one general rule that I, I notice with a lot of poses is that or pose rigs is that when you look at a certain area if the uh, the joints look a lot darker it's because there's lots of them concentrated in one area so just make sure you cycle through them to, to see which uh, which joint you're working with by looking at the bottom left here and it'll it'll list which rig uh, which joint you're working with so here you know I want to work with the right ear area and you can move the ears around there's also ears here or ear joints here that you can work with so, that makes it a lot easier to uh, give your animals a little bit more expression in their movements. So now I'm ready to export this very odd pose out of Blender. Um, so the first thing I want to do is basically follow the exact same steps that I did with the human pose, which is to select all the joints by tapping A until they all turn blue hit I, and then hit lock rot. But before I hit save, there's actually one more thing, well, actually multiple things kind of I need to do before I hit save. And that has to do with these sliders over here that I use to change the expression. Now, they don't actually automatically save like the, the joints do when you uh, lock rot. These actually need to be saved individually. So what you need to do is go over to these sliders and any one that you've changed, you need to hover your cursor over it and then tap the I key once. You'll know that they're saved because they will turn yellow. So you'll hover over, hit I, 
You have to unfortunately do this for every single one that you've changed. So I highly recommend that before you, um, you know, are ready to export that you make sure you're completely 100% done with your pose because unfortunately um, this may have been rectified uh, by the time that this video comes out but if you try to change anything about the pose at this point and you go back and you edit and you try and lock rod again these sliders may actually reset even though they don't show that they have reset here on the panel um, they won't actually transist uh, into your game when you try and save this clip. So it's very important that at this point don't uh, lock these joints here or these sliders until you are absolutely sure that you are done. So at this point everything is done and I save it exactly like I would uh, for a human pose except of course make sure you include the correct prefix when you're uh, saving it. So for this one example you know it's a horse so the prefix is AH underscore and then Coleco. The last thing I need to talk about before I finish off this section on animal poses is well, these clips are actually saved a little bit differently than the other uh, poses that you make for humans. The reason for this is because um, pets were added in an expansion so they are referenced to the game a little bit differently. They, um, their instance number here as shown in Sims 3 Pack Editor is different. So when you go to import a clip so I gotta go file new um, and I'm gonna import that clip that I just made it'll show up like this now the recent version of Sims 3 pack editor has or package editor has been updated so this will be correct um, you will notice that on the oh it's not the instance number it's the group number I'm sorry about that uh, it'll show up correctly so for human uh, animations this is going to be 0x00000 but for animal poses it's 0x48000 etc. So um, you have to make sure when you are importing a animal clip into Sims 3 Package Editor that that is correct. If you have an older ver version of Sims 3 Package Editor it might not be correct so make sure you change that if that's not the case. So there you go and that is how it's supposed to look. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you later.